well, today was one for the book, she has read. So I got all the basics taken care of, I got wash taken care of, I got the laundry, all dishes, you know, all the basics. I mean, we don't even have a dishwasher except for the dishpan and hands, of course. Anyhow, so I uh, went to take my little girl out to go and get her training at school. Found out while I was there that apparently somebody stole my, I have a placard, and, and I get a new one, I will not be keeping in the car. It was in the car. I thought it was safe in the car. And, um, some passes for the mountains. All of it gone. I think it can all be replaced. It's just a matter of just going and getting it fixed, and then they make the stuff, like, mute. It's no longer valid. We'll see how well it really works because of our system and the way it works, and the police being overdone. Who knows? It may or may not actually be recorded, and somebody might be able to use my placard and might be able to use her pass and get to do whatever they want anyway. So, um, that was a really big gut punch. Gut punches can really bring you down when you're trying to get some work done, really and truly. And I discovered that the dryer stuff didn't get dried properly, and I went outside and discovered that, uh, the vents getting clogged. I'm like, well, that would explain why it's not drying properly. Jeez Louise, one thing after another, right? So, got to get that fixed and taken care of. Not a big deal. It's just needing to be known. Um, then I was like, okay, come on, come on, come on. We got to get something going here. We got to get some work done. So I started writing out my story, which I wanted to do for a while. But it was, I mean, as much as I wanted to do it, it's not like what I felt like I was, I was like, yeah, I do want to do that, but I need something that's like right now immediate. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I really felt strongly about selling off my stuff. And then everybody's saying, whoa, 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 what are you doing selling off all your stuff? Um, it's a matter of getting funds because I want to get a home. So, I need to sell my stuff. It's replaceable. It's not like I can't, when, once I sell it, I can't, I can get more. Um, in the middle of doing all this, I discovered that my middle of my back is like really achy. And I could not, for the life of me, figure out why. And I remember them saying that I have very, very mild arthritis. It's like, can we add anything more to this challenge? And it's just, it was a nuisance, a painful nuisance, but it's a nuisance. And so I'm just like, I'll just take some medication and get it massaged a bit. And that way I can continue getting work done. Oh, excuse me. And then I found out that um, I was writing down the wrong time. And so my help for getting to the school was thinking it was 11 o'clock and it's actually 11.30 and they're like, are you ready? Are you ready? It's like, yeah. And I realized later after he said, you might want to fix the time. Oh yeah, it says 11 o'clock and it's actually at 11.30. Big difference. So on top of this, I remembered, oh yeah, checklists. They talk about checklists being a really big thing. Since I have three main things for um, building yourself up, I realized, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, these checklists as a checklist format would be so helpful. Yeah, I could totally do checklists. Hmm. And it wouldn't be any issue. And I could build up and I could share with people. 
and then it dawned on me how to build out each one into an actual program and into actual little books, which is what I've always wanted to do is create books. I don't want to necessarily create programs or trainings or what have you. I mean, yeah, they can be, but I'm wanting to create mini books. And that has been something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Does it pay anything? Eh, not really. <laughs> it depends on how you go about it. Um, most places would look at me and go, um, you're wasting our time. So why would I bother, you know? So in that aspect, the answer is no. I would not because it would waste waste people's time. It would be a matter of doing it a digital. If you've ever heard of a digital download or a digital or a PDF, that's kind of the thing that I'm talking about is where people can be it digital, they can download it, they can print it off, and they can have it. Um, I've also thought about putting it through places like Amazon until a publisher should decide to pick it up. And if the publisher should decide to pick it up, then that's great. Um, but I'm not in a massive rush or anything. Um, I do know that I do want to get that moving. So um, that's my first order of business is to get those out and to start sharing with people uh, core values, the hope challenge, the vegan challenge, and getting my story out. And I think in the next week that that is very important for me to get going. Um, despite all of the stuff that has just totally caught me off guard today. Um, so I'm getting these PDFs taken care of. Um, if you comment, hope PDF, core values PDF, or vegan PDF, I can get any one of those to you. Um, something else that I've also learned as of tonight is that um, there's a lot of um, Um, I know what I'm thinking. <sighs> Basically, Facebook and Instagram are getting, um, checked. They're, they're, um, checking people's posts. They're checking and deciding what can be done and what can't be done. So, I am getting prepared for my stuff to end up getting taken off of Facebook and Instagram. Um, Twitter is not owned by them, so that's a benefit. And I may end up going more towards Twitter. Um, I used to be all about Twitter, so I may end up going back that route even though that wasn't my intention and start going there and um, other places. So um, I would really love your input and your ideas on this because um, I'm having challenges right now with um, censorship. That's it. Censorship. Um, ads are being censored, posts are being censored, people are being censored, and I'm not going to be censored if I'm going to end up, I've been censored by the bloody government. I do not need to be censored by no app. So at that point, I can just go somewhere else. Um, I'd love to hear your input. Until next time.